Now that I have my cupcake all colored, I'm ready to cut it out. When you are cutting it out, you want to make sure that you are holding your scissors in the hand that you write with, and you should have your thumbs up. See how my thumbs are up to cut? And then when I hold my paper, I want to hold close to where I'm cutting so that I have more control. So I'm going to start by cutting this line here. So I'm going to be holding close to that line. I don't want to be holding it way over here and then cutting because then this paper will flop around on me. And remember your paper can turn so it makes it a little bit easier. So I'm going to start by just cutting and I want to do my best to stay on the black line. Once I'm to this end, I can just cut this right off right here. So then it's a little bit easier to turn the corner. Okay, so now I'm going to cut on this side. I'm going to go on the black line and I use my whole scissors. Now here's a black line too. Should I be cutting on this line? No, if I cut on that line, then the bottom of the cupcake will not be attached to the top. If I was, when I was coloring, could I have colored this in if I wanted to? Of course. This is a decision that you get to make as an artist. Are you gonna color that or not? I decided to leave it white. So then I'm just going to skip over this white part and go to the next black line here. And I'm gonna turn my paper, my helper hand, the hand that's holding the paper, is busy turning the paper so that my scissors can cut on this curve. If it's a little too tricky for you to go down in that bottom, you can do what I call a bubble cut, where you just go to the next part that sticks out. And then continue. Now I'm getting close to this edge, so I'm going to cut this part off so that I have an, a smaller piece of paper to work with. Now if you want to go back and try to cut this out once you have cut off, done the bubble cut, you can do that by cutting, starting on one edge cutting towards the point and stopping when you get to the point and then cutting from the other edge and stopping when you get to that point. And if you've done a good job of matching up, you can sort of just pull that out and it disappears. Or it sometimes falls down like that one did. And I'm gonna continue cutting all the way around. This one's another tricky cut here too, so I'm gonna do a bubble cut to start, and then I can come back to that. If you feel comfortable and you're a pretty good cutter, feel free to do these tricky parts all at once, or if you need a little bit more practice, it's okay to slow down and take your time and come back and get that tricky part later. There we go. I'm gonna go back to this part now and I'm going to start on one side. This one's a little bit tighter now because it's smaller, but I use my helper hand to turn the paper. See, my scissors are staying still. As I turn the paper, I push the scissors down, and that helps make a nice smooth cut while I'm turning. And there we go. So my cupcake is finished. You will take this and turn it in. You'll take your scrap paper, and these will go into the recycle bin. And you'll put your, your um, scissors and any other supplies that you have away.